Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Today I'm going to do a little project using some paint pens. I got them just recently from a company called FG Normal who are based in mainland China. I just recently did an unboxing with a few different bits and pieces I got from them and I said I'd come back and try out paint pens on a proper project. So I'm just going to start. I've got an idea of a couple of things I want to do. For most of it I'm probably going to sit and watch a bit of YouTube or listen to an audiobook or something while I work on this but I just thought I'll come I'll pop on first and just let you know, show, show you what I'm going to use and, and what I'm planning to do. And then I'll do a kind of a speed through with a bit of music. I haven't done that for a while. Okay, so, oh, so I've got this camera right. I meant to ask Tom to sort it out for me when he was here and I completely forgot. So I'm going to have to remember to keep down here. So um, these paint pens that I got from FG Normal, I think they were $13.99 for the set. I was expecting a set of 48 but they're actually 50 because they put an extra black and white in the set. They're acrylic paint pens. Let's get them all out of here in a minute. Really good range of colours. And I tried them. I had a white sheep. I think that got chucked away in my room in my room clear out. Uh, but I've still got this one. So they worked really well on this black they worked well on the white and they worked well over the top of each other as well but what I want to do today is try them on a couple of different surfaces wood stone and fabric mostly the wood and the stone is what I'm going to do today now this is a pencil case I made ages ago I've got this one here as well so this was the scholar box blank pencil case kit that I got and it came with I think it came with a, it came with a pencil and a little set of Posca paint pens so there were these colors you can see here this kind of teal color the um, sort of magenta color there a yellow if it was just those three and the black and the white so quite limited color but I and I tried to do um, what I could with just these colors I kept I did the design myself and I, I kept a tracing of it so I could use it again um, I then did another design, this one, on a different... I have, I've got half a dozen of these. I've got them for like 50p each in a local charity shop. Grabbed them. <laughs> so I tried them out on, on this as well. Um, I think I maybe brought in a couple extra colours. I've got a feeling I brought in that green one. So I kept hold of these of the designs for these two and um, traced them off because I thought, well, I've taken all that time to, to draw them out. I might as well use the designs again if I can. And what I did with these is, these are little wooden bookmarks. I've taped three of them together. They taped together on the back and I've traced the designs out onto them so that when you put the bookmarks together, it comes together like a jigsaw. But when you take them apart, they still look quite nice just as a random abstract kind of design. Um, but that's as far as I got. And again, I was quite limited with the colors that I'd got. So I'm going to try those in a minute and I've also got these little wooden houses which I got in the range or somewhere years and years ago. I used to use them for scrapbooking but I thought well they make nice little card toppers or something now but I'm going to try colouring them with these pens. And then I've got one blank pebble that I thought would make a nice little paperweight and as a design on that one just to make it easier on myself <laughs> I've decided I'm going to take my inspiration from my purse because I just love this little purse I've had it for a few years now um I think I bought it when we were on holiday in Oxford this purse anyway it just makes me happy this little design just makes me happy it's very simple I just love the colors and things so I've got a huge range of colors here I'm going to see if I can kind of replicate this on this stone and make a little fun paperweight it'll be really interesting to see how these markers perform they seem let's get my that's a, a color I always pick pink first <laughs> they don't have those kind of nibs that push in that you have to prime like you get with a lot of paint markers they just came they were ready to go when they arrived um i don't know if you're supposed to shake them i couldn't read the instructions because of course they were all in a chinese writing so I, I don't which i can't read so i don't know what any of this says we'll see we'll see how long they last and we'll see how they work on wood i'll um I'll just try a tiny bit. I'll just cut it in a little area here on, on fabric just to see how it works. And I'll try them on stone. The thing is, one of the nice things about paint markers is that they go over each other. You can blend them together. I might just keep my little 
water spray handy and a, and a little paint brush in case I want to that might help to sort of blend the colours in so you might see me using that but from now on I'm going to stop talking and listen to something and um, do a little bit of a speed through I've got to try and remember to keep it in here I think just to warm myself up I'll try one of these houses first I'll come back at the end and we'll see how it's all looking <laughs> Well, um, I don't think I'm going to carry on and record all of this because I think it could get really boring to watch, but I just wanted to come back. I, I will come back and show what we look like at the end. But I'm going to um, probably take these downstairs and work on this this evening now. But I just wanted to show you sort of how they're going. They're absolutely lovely to use, and I've, I've got a massive range of colours. Um, I did end up doing like a second coat over the... We um, would have seen, I think, a second coat over the stone to give a more dense coverage but uh, yeah it was only kind of just necessary I love the way they go over each other so I've put the lighter orange over the darker orange there I've done that on all of them yeah I just yeah really impressed with them and um, these were the first things I tried it on the wood so um, one thing I tried here was just oh, focus focus for me just blending the two colours in together I tried to sort of scrubbing with the brush and then I just um just use the two colour pens one over the other until they blended really I cannot make that focus there we go um but you could just as well like scribble a bit on a a glass mat or a palette whatever and um and mix the paints together that way and then I tried a tiny bit on the fabric just to make sure that they covered well oops just to make sure they covered well which they do I don't like using them on this quite coarse texture fabric very much it's the same with any kind of paint pen it was the same with the Poscas it was quite hard getting them to cover well because this is a very uh, you can see there this is a very kind of textured surface um, but on this wood it yeah really really enjoying that I'm gonna have a lot of fun finishing these off <laughs> yeah i will i will come back and show you what these are like um when they're all done yeah very happy and i think when i've done all of them um i'll have a bit of a feeling for if they're lasting if they're standing up well then both the nibs and the and the paint inside yeah because this is quite rough treatment on these kind of surfaces so yeah okay i'm gonna stop recording now and i'll be uh i'll be back in just a moment for you right it's the next day um i've done as much as i'm gonna do with this now i think i'm really happy with how these pens performed i, I just they were a pleasure to use they covered really well um on this wood the nibs that i'll show you in a minute some of the ones i've used a lot um or some of the ones i've used the most <laughs> i'll just show you how well the nibs have been holding up they covered over one another and over the poscas that are already there as well actually 
in places I went over I changed the ears and things yeah I'm just I'm I'm really really impressed with them um, I still want to go over and add outlines here and tidy up a little bit here and there but the great thing was that even yeah I'm gonna put a little couple of little highlights there as well so even for example um, let's find a bit I had made that that bunting there that you can see is orange I had made that green and then decided it didn't show very well because it was right near the leaves so I went over it in orange two coats of orange it completely covered you'd never know the green was there and normally those would get a bit muddy those colors yeah just yeah they perform really well for 13.99 for 48 now I had one other color you might remember if you saw the um, unboxing of these or unbagging of these a couple of days ago you might remember that one of them a pink one of the pinks was a bit dried up when I first started it and it was the first one I opened and I thought oh no <laughs> the rest have been absolutely brilliant and then there was one now I can't remember which one it was it was one of these greens that I went to use earlier on and I thought oh no it's dried up but what I did was I just gave it a couple of spritz with my water um, just to see what would happen and it came back perfectly well so I wish I hadn't thrown that pink one away now because it might be the same so I don't know that's, that's a bit odd really I don't know why it did that but um but you can see um so these are three of the colors that I've used quite a lot um let's have a look at one of the nibs And I mean, on this wood with a, with a fairly, this wood's got quite a rough grain and I was going against the grain some of the time as well. So it's quite a test for these nibs. Pretty blooming good, pretty good. And um, let's see how they're still, is there still plenty of ink? Yep, and still going on beautifully smoothly on the paper. Well, it won't focus, but you can see yeah I'm mentioning no names I have some had some other brands of paint pens which haven't been which which are you know more expensive sort of proper brands which haven't been as nice to use as these so yeah quite impressed so I also did these I think I've already shown these but just in case I forgot I might, I might be able to get better focus anyway now it's daylight yeah that's the results on the wood I think I've just given these little wooden pieces so they started off like this a whole new lease of life so I'm gonna have a look at what other little wooden pieces I've got so I think it'd be really cute to put on cards or you know just to um, tie on to little um, gifts and things like that um, and then the other thing I tried was this stone and I'm so pleased with the stone why can I not get anything to focus today there we go it just went on lovely with a lot of with the yellow for example I did do a couple of coats each time um but yeah they just yeah they went on brilliant I really like this I'm gonna do some more like this <laughs> it really appeals to my inner hippie chick I think <laughs> and you can see how it was definitely influenced by my purse <laughs> thumbs up to these only time will tell how long they'll last you just can't tell you just can't tell and um, the only thing that's different from other let's get one that's a less dark color so I can, um, yeah you can't like you can with some um, bigger brands of paint pens you can pull the nibs out like with Posca you can pull the nibs out and turn them around and you can't do that with these obviously they're not refillable but again that is the case with most paint, paint pens and by the way did you know I just mentioned while I'm here in case you didn't know if you have empty used up pens that can't be refilled try taking them to your local art shop because um, some of them do take in used up pens for recycling and um, there's a company called TerraCycle that works together with manufacturers and things to and supermarkets and what have you to recycle some of the things that are more difficult that you, you wouldn't be able to just put in your normal recycling so just bear that in mind I mean that's the case in the UK I don't know if it is elsewhere so now with these with my bookmarks um, I might put a coat of varnish or something on those to finish them off and I will put little they've got the holes in so I'll find some little coordinating cord 
and I could like you know I could put someone's name on the other side or whatever I like that they're kind of a each one kind of stands alone it's just a little kind of abstract piece but you can put them together as a little picture <laughs> now as a um, hang on come back up again as a little uh, little extra bonus for anybody that um, that is it that would like um, this little set of bookmarks I'm gonna do this as a little impromptu giveaway so if you would like this little set of bookmarks and I'm happy to send it to anywhere in the world I'm not going to do the same for the paperweight <laughs> I'll keep the paperweight <laughs> But these are nice and light and flat, so I'm I'm happy to send these uh, anywhere in the world. So do leave a comment. So just um, just say something like, "I'd like a bookmark, please." <laughs> I don't know. It's just something something to indicate that you would like to have to have this uh, little set of bookmarks. I'll do a draw in. I'll I'll give it a few days, and then I will I will do a, a draw and let you know who the lucky winner is. <laughs> Or maybe nobody will. <laughs> maybe nobody will want them, and I'll be the lucky winner. <laughs> okay, so that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed that. I had, I had a lot of fun with them. Um, I will. I will leave a link again to um, FG Normal and those that set of pens. I'll leave a link to the actual product that I've used today, and um, in case you want to check it out. Thank you very much for joining me today, and I will see you again really soon. Bye.